How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be we are blah, 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 blah. we are going to be starting episode two of this zero overall franchise with our lovable Miami Miami Marlins. So if you guys missed yesterday's episode, up above there's going to be a link. Go and click that link. Go watch yesterday's episode so you get caught up on everything that happened, um, and just to get caught up on what you know what what's going on with this series. You guys absolutely showed amazing support. Um, on that episode yesterday, episode one, it was like over a hundred likes, uh, almost 2000 views by the time I'm recording this. Absolutely amazing. So I will make a deal with you guys. If you hit a hundred likes again on today's episode, I will upload episode three tomorrow for you guys. So make sure you keep showing that support. Keep leaving comments. Keep letting me know what you guys think of this series. Give me some feedback and let's try to make this series as entertaining as possible so that you guys you know you guys keep coming back for it so let's uh let's do some quick little housekeeping i saw two comments in on the video yesterday that i really liked so um hang with me for a bit but the first comment was from jeef teely if i said your name wrong sorry bud but uh there should be some type of upgrade system for players when someone gets like a certain number of hits they should get like a plus one on their hitting stats. So I kind of like that idea. Do you guys think we should do an upgrade system for players based on their performance throughout the season? So maybe after 10 hits, they get a plus five contact stat boost or a plus two contact stat boost. If they hit a home run, should they get a, a power stat boost? For pitchers, if they pitch a certain amount of innings throughout the season, should they get a, a stamina boost? If they strike out a certain number of players, should they get a Ks per nine boost? In a, in a straw poll down below, in the pinned comment of the video, there's going to be a yes or no. Should we do a player upgrade system based on um, stats that they that they you know that they get throughout the season? Let me know what you guys think about that, and then we definitely can set a, a rule system for that. The other comment is from Wicked077 or 077. Um, if you win five games, you get to call up a prospect. If you get 10 wins, you get to call up another prospect, etc., etc. You know, 15 wins, 20, 25. Um, I like that idea too because with a one overall player, even if they have 99 potential, they're only going to grow three or four overall throughout the season. So we're only probably going to have like a five overall team by the end of the season so having players being upgraded throughout the season as well as being able to acquire um, prospects or new players based on how many wins we get can definitely help speed us up to get a little bit more you know competitive side and help us grow the team throughout the years so and he's even through the season so maybe if we get five wins we're able to trade sign a free agent or call up a prospect that's maybe 60 overall or below. If we get 10 wins throughout the season, we can uh, acquire a 65 overall or below, maybe 15 wins, a 70 overall, and so on and so forth. So again, there's gonna be another straw poll down below. So you're gonna have two straw polls down below. One is going to be yes or no. Should we do an upgrade system for players based on the stats that they get throughout the season? And the other straw poll is going to be yes or no. Should we be able to acquire um, new players based on how many wins we get throughout this season so go and vote leave me some comments um, um some feedback on that and that's really all i wanted to talk about to get this video started so if you missed yesterday's video again go and watch the first episode but let's talk about how bad it went we lost 10 to nothing to the cubs obviously the cubs are a very very good team but losing 10 to nothing just can't happen um we started off hot i think we were in the fourth inning we had three hits they only had one then the cubs scored and it just kind of all came crumbling down so i definitely think scouting is going to be a big big key aspect of this series because we're going to be adding new players every season throughout the draft and one position someone commented was that we definitely need a new catcher um because captain thick arnold kelly just isn't good enough behind the dish he was dropping so many balls um so it's just not good so you saw the scouts that we currently have sent out um 
looking at the rest of the month of March, we have three games or two more games in March. And then in April, we have Boston, Philadelphia, the Mets, the Pirates, the Yankees, the Brewers, the Dodgers, the Rockies. And then we finish the month with one game against the Phillies. Already heading into the Yankees game, we are 0-15. Um, we lost 30 to nothing against the Cubs, then 20 to nothing against the Cubs. So in three games, we allowed 60 runs. Um, we got our first runs of the season against the Cubs. In game four, we lost 13 to two. Then um, we got another run against Boston, but we lost 32 to one. Um, 22 to nothing. Then we lost 18 to one, 16 to nothing. 11 to nothing 19 to 1 oh man we did lose 7 to nothing that's that's a little bit impressive but then we lost 17 to nothing the following day so it's even if we sim the games we are able to score so maybe against the yankees we'll sneak a run or two in let's hop into this game um i i just i feel so pessim pessimistic about how everything is going um it's looking like bartholomew is going to be on the mound again i i, I want to use a different pitcher so you know what we're going to sim today's game we lost 14 to nothing we're going to head into tomorrow's game so that we can try it we're going to try out a new pitcher see how that goes we're going to rock the black unis today we're going to let poncio alvarez um wheel and deal on the mound Arnold Kelly, I know you've been you you've been doing pretty bad, but that's okay. That's definitely okay. So you got the lineups here. The Yankees are doing a little bit better than us. Definitely doing a little bit better than us. Um, our best hitter should be Victor Victor Mesa, and it is. Next up, Chris Montague, our DH, and then we got um, Rain Rodney, second baseman, hitting the ball decently. No one's hitting the ball too well though which is a little unfortunate to see. Alrighty, Yankee Stadium. Let's do this. You know, 0-16. It's definitely rock bottom. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised fans even showed up. That's, that's what I'm surprised about. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's clearly not about how good you guys are doing because you're doing so bad. We're coming up against Masahiro Tanaka. I hate coming up against Tanaka. His windup throws me off. He's got that splitter. He's 2-0 on the year with a 1-4-5 ERA. So it's definitely going to be a, a pretty tough outing for us with our leadoff hitter, Victor Victor Mesa. Can we get something started here? Come on. He hits us. Okay. I'll take a leadoff runner there with 90 speed on first okay throwing it inside trying to okay setting the pace of the game cut it right down the middle and i wasn't able to do anything with it so you know what it's a 1-1 count i might go the next pitch if this is a ball i'm gonna go the next pitch it's not a ball and we hit into a ground oh he's gonna ground out into a double play i was gonna say we're hitting into a, a ground ball double play but we ground out into a double play i should have sent the runner I don't know why I didn't. Aaron Hicks was able to catch it. So we got Poncio Alvarez, a solid 27 ERA. He's 0-2. He's only pitched six innings in three games. Nice. He does have a solid five strikeouts, though. But, okay. Miguel Andujar is leading off for the Yanks. Yankees, they're going to spank me, whatever you want to say. And uh, that's not a good way to start the game. One pitch, one base runner for the Yankees. Ah, uh, yikes! This I don't know. Why did I? Why did I agree to do this? Oh, come on, Rain Rodney, make the play. There we go. I'll take it. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good way to come back after allowing the leadoff hit. They feel bad for us. That's re that's really what's going on. We've become the laughing stock of the MLB. So the umps are like, you know what? We we got to help these guys out as much as possible. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to drop. We had him 0-2 and we weren't able to put him away. And it's gonna, he's going to rip a, a liner in the left and get a hit for himself. Now we got to go to Stanton. 
that's get oh my god that's getting by one out oh keep he kept it in front of him oh that that saved a run that that saved a run I'll I'm okay with that Maverick Moss he kept it he kept it in the infield so now we got the double plays double plays in play we got we got to do it we got the double play is still a possibility we get we got to get it that's not gonna do it so even though he saved the run last at bat it's still gonna get in and we're down two to nothing in the first definitely going a lot worse than how we uh how we started the game against the cubs they're stealing on me he didn't get there we do get the out at first though i'll take that so they did do the hit and run and um unfortunately we weren't able to turn two but you know what we should get out of the inning here so two to nothing not not terrible let's get this started top two can we get a base hit that's actually that's gonna drop there we go three speed definitely not gonna be a double but I'll take it first pitch we get a leadoff runner here in the second from Yancey Esmond. Um, unfortunately, it's not Victor Victor Mesa on first, so it's not 90 speed. Oh, three speeds moving him over. Oh, yeah, look at those wheels getting to second. And uh, that would have been ball four, actually. So, I should be a lot more selective. Uh, being at the dish, being patient. We're at full count. Guy on second. There we go. What are we at? Seven pitches on the at bat right now. This is pitch number seven. We just need to put it in play. We need to get um, Esmond to third. That would be ideal. That would be the best situation. And we're, we're going to get him to third. Doing exactly what I was looking for. Sonny Boniface moves the runner over. All right. Rain Rodney, I think, is our second best hitter in the lineup. So if anybody's up, I would, you know, hopefully he can do what we need. We're going to get on the board. Yes. Rain Rodney does just what we need. A little grounder gets the run in and we're within one of the New York Yankees. Not bad. Not bad. I'll definitely take that. Chris Montague. What is this stance? Holy smokes. I'm surprised he's able to swing the bat by the time the pitch comes. My arms would be tired with all that movement. Fastball down the middle and I was late. Okay. Okay. 1-1 one, one count. Let's see what we can do here. Is this going to drop? Are we going to get another hit? We're going to stay at first. Just because three speed is definitely not quick enough to make a double out of that. But hey, I'm liking what I'm seeing this inning. We may have two hits, both of them identical bloopers to left field. But hey, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Jeez. No. Come on, Esmond. As what? And he's gonna get the second now with nobody out. What just happened? Man, I'm not sure what to make. Can I can I get the replay so I can see what happened? Because I feel like that definitely should have been an out. Why is this so slow? Give me. All right, that was way too slow. All right, we got 1-1 one, one count. Miguel Andujar's up. He's going to hit a foul. 1-2, guy on second. No outs. 2-2 two, two count now. Uh, an out would be so nice right here. Holy cow, he was way ahead of that. Send him with the splitter down and in. Can it be out? It is. It should be an out. Rain Rodney should make the play. It should be two outs, but you know someone can't catch a line drive. All right, one one count. No offer on that one. Two 
two one count. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch. For oh, you're kidding me. Meanwhile, now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra. The run's gonna score. He's gonna get a double. Oh man. Just it's, it, it's like and it just doesn't get any better. Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton. Oh man, this is gonna be a definitely gonna be a rough one for us. Three one count here. Full count to Aaron Judge. We're going with a, a little bit of a sinker. It is gonna get the run home, but at least it was hit to our best outfielder. We get out number two. Alright, 5 1. Yikes. Yikes. Ooh, nice little movement on that slider there. Definitely was a ball. And uh, Danilo Prince makes the throw over to first. We get out of the inning. Okay. Alright. Three runs scored that inning. So we're down four. But you know what? I feel like. We're ma we're making a little bit better strides. Some some miscues as been dropping it, but you know. Jax Ambrose is gonna pop out here. Nice, nice. Already bottom three. Just uh, it's not. Oh come on! You've been giving me that call all game. Now you're not. Um, but starting 0-2 is not not what I need from him. I want him to at least get me through the inning. Rain Rodney, make the play, please. Get us out of the inning. A shutout inning. Check that off. That's a solid inning for us, and uh, we get out of that one. So, five to one, no damage done for that one. Um, rhymed way too much in that saying. Yancey Esmond had a single in the second. Can you repeat this? Here comes the first pitch. Nope. He's gonna foul off a fastball down the middle. And he's going to pop out. Oh, man. Switch it up so they don't get used to the low stuff. Let's go high heat. Fouls it off. One, two count. Let's go with the low change up. Hit our spot. And oh, he's going to get a double. He's, he's getting a double on this. That might actually be a triple. This Oh, he's going to stay at two. Oh, man. Just right down the line. Why? Why you got to do that? Why must you do that? It was going so well, and then he just, just had to ruin all the fun for us. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? They're going to get a run in. Yancey. Yancey. That's two mistakes this game, bud. Two mistakes. That, that was a line drive that should have been caught by you. Apparently, he doesn't know how to read line drives. He's going to get to second, not even going to throw it. Oh, he popped it up. Please, Prince. Danilo, Prince, please. Yes, out of the inning. There we go. One run allowed. But you know what? That's that's two solid innings. You know, one run allowed isn't bad for us. You know, it does, you know, the only thing he's got going for him is his thickness, you know? That was a little bit of a, a swing right there. That, that had some distance. Okay, maybe his bat's starting to come around. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. All right. Can Malachi give me one more inning? That's a good start. Get a little fastball in the zone. That's not good, though. You know what? If we can rob this, that's the highlight of the game. Nope. That's not uh, out of the park. John Carlos Stanton took me deep. Uh, oh, jeez, that wasn't a strike. Probably because Kelly can't catch a pitch. It's ruining everything. All right, Adam Malachi's day is done. No energy, no confidence. Just not going well. Help us out, just a little bit. Fifteen point five five ERA. That's what I want to see. You know, that's definitely what I want to see. Nice little fastball start the at bat. Running fastball. Let's see what this pitch is looking like. Okay, I'll take a 0-2 count. One out. Oh no, no outs. He's got two fastballs, two changeups. What kind of nonsense is this? We're not gonna turn two here. Rain Rodney, you the most nonchalant toss over to second I have ever seen. Wow. 
You're lucky you have our RBI today. Otherwise, I would punch you in the face. I don't care. I'd walk out there and just punch you in the face. Oh, oh, he caught that? Oh, I thought it was a grounder. I was like, we're going to actually turn two. What? I went, oh, man. I thought maybe we were going to end the inning right there. I was like, yeah. That's a, that's a double play right there. I'm going to have Maverick Moss turn it himself. All right. Oh, I had to swing at that. Oh, that might have been ball four. But it was just too close to take. Yikes. Oh, please tell me that was a strike. What's the... Oh, that was ball four. Dario Leonard. I'm hoping he can give me at least one more inning. That's a good start. That's not good because he's going to beat it out. Oh. Maverick Moss. Come on, bud. Can you stop fouling stuff off? I want this to be an out. No. Oh, come on. What? You just, you couldn't, you couldn't just hit like a ground ball to the second baseman so we could turn two. Now we got first and second, no outs. Ah. That's a ball. Blue. There is no part of that ball that is outside the strike zone. And you're going to call it a ball? Now I need to punch you in the face. Earlier I wanted to punch Rain Rodney in the face. Now I want to punch you in the face. This is ridiculous. We got Lennard out of energy. Nope, nope. Throw it to first. Throw it to first. Throw it to first. Get the out. Okay, there's one. Just go away. Ooh, he actually caught that and kept that in front of him. All right. Let's see if he does that with the slider. Oh, no, that's getting away. Uh, on that pop-up. And I, I could have sworn he was going to drop that. And this is two runs. This is two runs for sure. Ooh. 11-1 in the sixth. Yikes. 11-1 in the sixth. We need, we need, uh, we need to stop this right away. He swung at that. That was going to get through. That was, that was another run right there. So, that's going to score because why would, why would the pitcher go for that and not the catcher and then have the pitcher cover home? That makes no sense at all. 2-2 two, two count. We get him on the K. Okay. Finally, the inning is over. Holy cow. That was brutal. Actually, I lied. We still have to do the bottom of the eighth. This sucks. Um, but you know what? 12-1. to one. It's not too bad right now. It, blue. Um, like, just because you gave us a call last inning doesn't mean you got to be like, oh, let's give them a call this inning. Because now they got a single. Ah. Jeez. That's uh, that's another run. I was just saying, twelve to one. That's that's not bad. Of course, now we're starting to get a little smacked around in this inning. That's gonna move him to third. There's another run. Oh, what? I just why? Why can't we just get a little a little stroke of luck going our way? We had a one two three inning last inning. Uh, why couldn't why couldn't we get a little a little repeat of that? That's moving Stanton the second. All right, we got a one one count. Victor Victor Mesa, please make the play, make the play. There we go. Get out of the inning. We're finally in the last inning. Torture is almost over. <laughs> and uh, all right, Maverick Moss, you are our last chance to get a base runner this game. We need you to be who you th like. We need you to be the player that you think you are, and you failed us. Bottom nine. No, that's game. I feel like I don't even know the game of baseball anymore. We lose pretty badly. <laughs> pretty badly. 14 to 1. 
two errors. We did get a run, though. This time, we only got two hits. But we did get a run. We did get a run. Rain Rodney brought in Yancey Esmond. So, you know, pluses and minuses. Pluses and minuses. Um, but, yeah. Not not the best of games for us definitely not the best of games for us so currently 0 and 17 almost an identical game to yesterday's game against the yankees on the calendar but this time we scored a run so i mean that is a positive we finally got on the board while we played a game we we scored one let's see how the rest of the month plays out oh we, we got two more runs we scored six hold on Hold on. We scored six this game. Let me let me see the box score on that one. Timeout. What? Maverick Moss went three for five. Prince went two for four. Niles went three for five. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. Let me see the pitching here. I mean, we lost 22 to 6, but we, we got 6 runs. Okay, that's that's a boost in the right direction. Um, but we still are 0 and 28. So it's, uh, you know, we did score a solid 6 runs against the team, but not, not necessarily the best. Uh, we, we're still a defeated team so you know take take your wins and losses i guess but that's that's it guys yeah we're sitting at a, a whopping 15 games behind in the east uh just not not going too great lineup check maverick moss is hitting a solid 165 with one rbi danilo prince is hitting a, a 130 with two rbis victor victor mace has got three homers four RBIs and a 200 average. Yancey Esmond has four ribbies and a 146 average. Rain Rodney has his lone RBI in the game that we played against the Yankees. Clyde Niles, three RBIs and a 205 average. So he is now our best hitter. Montague, one RBI, 156 average. Braxton Lawson, the unibrow. Is hitting 106, so maybe he needs to continue to start with two RBIs. And Pepito Americo, 120 average with two ribbies. Arnold Kelly, a 62 average. 185 for Sonny Boniface with a ribby. And two ribbies for Jax Ambrose. So our only home run hitter is Victor Victor Mesa so far. Truman Bartholomew, 13.17 ERA. 13 innings as well. Yikes. Um... Poncio Alvarez, 14 innings pitched. He's a 18.41 uh, ERA, 13.17 for Abraham Milton, 20 for Kip Aiden, and Carlos Kike has got a solid 26 ERA. Egbert Dillon has got a 16 ERA, a 10, almost an 11 ERA for Alfredo. Ace Bruno got a 15. Hippolito, solid 15 ERA, another 15 for Darvi Jarvis. Dario Lennard's got a 16 ERA, Malachi 11 ERA, and Gonsalves 11 ERA. All right, okay, okay. So, you know, you got to take our wins and our losses somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Zero Overall Rebuild franchise, whatever you want to call it, with this wonderful Miami Marlins team. We did take another loss. We took a few losses, actually. We, we, we definitely got smacked around a little bit. Um, for the month of May, we definitely have some nice little, uh, matchups. I'm thinking we play the, the Braves, you know, we got, they got Acuna, they got Albies. I think that'll be a good matchup for us, um, for that game. Maybe even against the Nationals with Bryce Harper. Maybe I'll start playing two games a mat, a game, uh, blah, blah, two games an episode and just show you kind of the, the main highlights per game so we can, you know, get a little bit more gameplay. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button again. 100 likes. Episode 3 will come out tomorrow. And uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. But um, yeah, guys. It's it's uh, it's it's not going too great. Obviously, we, we're definitely in a rough spot. We're 0-28. The wins are going to be very, very few and far between. 
our upgrades oh yeah upgrades and player acquisitions the straw polls are down in the comment section below make sure you go and vote let me know what you guys think should we be able to upgrade players and should we be able to acquire new players based on our wins throughout this season so again i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are loving this series if you are new hit that subscribe button my social media links are all in the description below i will catch you all in the next video peace